Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the use of Pythagoras theorem in real life. We already know what is Pythagoras theorem and it explains the relation between the sides of a right angle triangle. The Pythagoras theorem says the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So according to it square of the hypotenuse is equal to square of the base plus square of the perpendicular. What are the uses of Pythagoras theorem in real life? Let us see. Pythagoras theorem is very useful in real life. For example, there is a slanting plane for the vehicles to enter the showroom. Now we want to measure the height of the plane that is H in the picture. Look at the plane. It is forming a right angle triangle with the ground. Let's name this triangle as ABC. The length of the slanting plane is 13 meter and the distance between the starting of the plane to the point B is 12 meters or you can say the base of the triangle is 12 meter. Height is H and it is the side BC. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square. That is the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the base and the perpendicular. Thus we can say here 13 square is equal to 12 square plus height square or the perpendicular square. 13 square means 169 and 12 square means 144. So h square is equal to 169 minus 144 which is equal to 25. Now this means h square is equal to 25. We know 25 means 5 square so we can say h is equal to 5 meters and thus using the Pythagoras theorem we found the height of this slanting plane. Let's take another example. Here the distance between the two buildings is 12 meters. One building is 41 meters tall and the other building is 32 meter tall. Aman went to the roof of the shorter building and wondered what was the distance between the tops of the two buildings. Now how to find this distance between the tops of the two buildings? Well, here again we can use the Pythagoras theorem to solve this problem. Here we can draw a right angle triangle ABC. Look, the distance between the buildings is AB which is equal to 12 and the difference of the height is BC and it is equal to 41 minus 32 which is equal to 9 meters. So we can say the distance between the tops of the two buildings is AC. And according to the Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to 12 square plus 9 square which is square of the base plus square of the perpendicular. Hence, AC square is equal to 225. Now, 225 is equal to 15 square. So, which means AC square is equal to 15 square. Which means AC is 15. And this we found out using the Pythagoras theorem. So remember children, the Pythagoras theorem explains the relation between the sides of the right angle triangle 
and it says the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Hence, according to it, the hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. Here, in the right angle triangle ABC, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, if you know the length of any two sides of the right angle triangle, we can find the length of the third side from this theorem. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.